it's a solemn day around baseball and before the game the Mets and the Phillies honored Jose Fernandez with a moment of silence here at Citi Field many of the players talking about the loss of Fernandez today and uh, you know Matt you said it during the open but uh, he was one of those personalities that even as opposing teams and opposing broadcasters you couldn't help but uh, when you were around him uh, be infected by his laughter and his smile all the time. I, I compared him a little bit to Freddie Galvis in uh, in the way that he uh, <clears throat> carried himself and it's just uh, so sad to see. It is and it's terrible. It's tragedy. I mean it was kind of shocking news when we got the text this morning and you know to have certain teammates like that that care for the game and have a great time and, and make you a better person make you a happy person on a consistent basis is, is very rare and uh, he will definitely be missed and, and thoughts and prayers wrote to his family and friends and uh, the, the Marlins organization. Yeah and the Marlins uh, honoring him this morning at Marlins Park you see uh, his cap and his number 16 on the mound as well as up on uh, Marlins vision uh, his name and his number they had a press conference today the entire team was there. Of course, uh, manager Don Mattingly was there. I think Martin Prado also spoke uh, during that press conference. And fans have started arriving in Miami at the ballpark and uh, leaving flowers and remembrances outside the ballpark uh, to uh, honor Jose Fernandez as well. No baseball will be played down there, of course, today. And uh, Marlins will come to New York, or the, actually, the Mets will head to Miami and play the Marlins uh, starting tomorrow. So. Just a very sad day and it happens uh, from time to time in professional sports when a young man in the middle of his career and in the prime of his life at age 24 uh, goes too soon.